Welcome to this podcast, Grace for All, produced by members of First United Methodist Church in Maryville, Tennessee. It is our hope that these brief daily devotions will bring you comfort and peace. Thank you for listening. Waiting expectantly. Not only so, but we also glory in our sufferings, because we know that suffering produces perseverance, perseverance, character, and character, hope. And hope does not put us to shame, because God's love has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit, who has been given to us. Romans 5, verses 3 through 5. Against a painted landscape rich with vibrant autumn hues of orange, gold, and red, it rises erect, a formal display in sharp contrast to its natural surroundings. It seems so out of place, this giant green cone, methodically hung with perfectly spaced large, shiny silver and red orbs, goofily dwarfing the star on top. If I am generous, it looks like a child's crayon drawing come to life. I confess that more often, lately, I am not generous. I am mostly inclined to describe it as a gaudy, taunting eyesore. You are no Christmas tree, I want to say out loud. It is neither a herald of Christmas nor a tree, as evidenced by the lovely, gentle trees surrounding it calling its bluff. Perhaps I have driven by this untree hundreds of times or more in years past. Whether it is the same tree used year after year in this space, I cannot say, because I have never given it much notice or attention. But something about it caught my eye this year. This year, every time I drive past, I feel sad and frustrated and maybe a little bit angry and cynical. It's not so much the commercialism of Christmas that bothers me. I am used to that. It's that I blame the untree for stealing Advent from me, for trying to rush me past the season of preparation. I am not ready for Christmas. Advent has always been meaningful to me. The small Presbyterian church of my childhood did not rely heavily on the liturgical calendar. I was unfamiliar with Lent before I went to college. But Advent has always helped to ground me. Peace, hope, joy, and love deserve my attention more often than four Sundays each year. Still, without the church calendar and the Advent wreath, I might not stop to contemplate them one by one. This year, especially, hope beckons me. I need this season of waiting, not only of waiting, but of waiting expectantly for something new. And that ugly tree mocks me. It mocks my hope. I long to anticipate birth and life, to believe that the world's groans, deep and long and insufferable, are nothing more than labor pains, that they represent the agony which ushers in the world's redemption. I long to believe that this is not the end of something, but its beginning. Let us pray. Merciful and loving God, help us resist the pressure to race ahead toward Christmas. Instead, teach us how to wait with you expectantly in hope. Amen. Today's devotional was written and read by Greta Smith. In 1740, John Wesley, the founder of the Methodist movement, preached a sermon in Bristol, England, in which he proclaimed, The grace or love of God, whence cometh our salvation, is free in all and free for all. 283 years later, we're humbled to proclaim that message through this Grace for All podcast. Thank you for listening to today's message of grace.
I'm Jonathan Jonas, Senior Pastor of First United Methodist Church in Maryville, Tennessee, where the Grace for All podcast is written, edited, and produced by our lay members. To know more about our congregation and its ministries, please visit our website at firstchurch.org. That's the number one, S-T-C-H-U-R-C-H dot O-R-G.